Hello viewers, welcome to Preview Studio. Today we are going to see about uh, the page rendering concept uh, that's been there. So yeah, so this is, uh, I've taken the reference from one of the famous blog uh, written by Victoria Lowe. Uh, thanks for her. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we know uh, the websites like Google, Facebook, or Amazon, or any of your favorite websites being rendered to your browser on the devices where you have and then you will interact to this uh, uh, to see you know uh, our results right yeah so how how these things are happening so these uh, rendering of the information the websites can uh, be you know categorized to three main ways um, of that uh, client side rendering is one server side rendering and static side generations yeah so Today we are going to see about uh, these three uh, concepts. So among that, what is first that client side rendering and um, server side rendering, and then we can say static side generations. Yeah. So we'll start with static side generation for uh, you know uh, to understand uh, better when we go back uh, to the other types. Yeah. A static site generation when we say static sites in 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 several years from the beginning of the uh, you know uh, web, web applications or websites uh, been created static sites is nothing but you know uh, the compilations of HTML uh, uh, pages so a uh, very uh, famous uh, you know default or uh, the first in first uh, mm, website information can be kept in one file called index.html okay so whatever you put in index.html if you're a famous PHP developer or you know any other uh, apache uh, applications to uh, host uh, if we put index.html and in our in our um, directory of ww uh, directory of our server and then we expose that um, uh, to the web uh, you know web we, we get the website uh, whatever we have put on index.html pages yeah so that is one simple static site uh, one so with that like whatever we put um, uh, you know uh, home or about as or any other informations as in a direct html it directly calls an another html uh, which is already loaded on the um, you know websites so to, it directly uh, opens that and shows without any delay so in modern days that has been translated um, you know that has been transformed to you know several other frame frameworks which is having such uh, um, concepts you can call it's gatsby hugo and jekyll or these are the famous static generations uh, you know on top of html you can write your websites in your own convention like markdown you know or any other formats and, and that this static site generations uh, you know takes care of converting to as an html pages yes so this is about static site generation there are several static site generations are there today you go uh, create a website in in, in a very few minutes you can say within five minutes you will be having one website yeah that's how the static site generation concepts have been there and it's available of course next what we're going to see is about a server side rendering server side rendering is what when we say server side rendering the request will load the html uh, pages and then uh, the javascripts of the contents will be loaded further so how so as in the diagram representing mm, you know the user requests a website and further you know uh, it creates a ready-made html file and the ready-made html file is not yet you know not yet uh, interactive enough and then it loads on top of some scripts which call javascripts and then the interactions happen so that's how this you know mm, server side rendering uh, is been uh, uh, happening so famous example of the server side rendering is nothing but a next.js okay there's a framework which is on top of react framework that has been uh, developed so when to use such I mean, not to use so you know uh, if you are more keen of seo you should uh, you know you should uh, try to um, be with server side rendering because uh, you know a lot of crawlers like uh, apart from google google can crawl even client side rendering in a way if you have configured the best so even server -side rendering it is not complete enough but to some extent it can crawl the sites so when you come to seo friendly obviously you know the first approach everybody will go for static site but when we wanted to have in a modern days you know dynamic informations we are we can opt for a server side rendering yeah 
So next comes to client side rendering. What does it mean client side rendering? Yeah, when we say client side rendering, it's everything is on the browser takes the decision. Say for an example, as a first foremost HTML, as I said, mm, uh, so one index dot HTML and rest others are in JavaScript. So uh, the index dot HTML from there, you know, uh, for any of the pages to navigate. For example, if you want to go to about dot about page, the about page information will be on JavaScript, and further it will, uh, you know load that um, uh, html pages on top of uh, you know navigation so on this uh, navigation happens uh, as a client side and not even a uh, you know server side so for an example as in the diagram depicts user requests a website you know uh, quick uh, cdn uh, uh, serves an html files to the js and then browser downloads the html Mm, and then it's visible to the user for the interactions and the cycle happens so this is how so all the information as, as we call this a single page application loaded at first but when to create the component is it like every component is created in terms of mm, react uh, or angular every whether to create the component immediately or on on dynamic so that is being decided based on what the data is coming from the uh, back end so these these are the main uh, you know uh, types of uh, rendering of a particular website thanks for watching we'll see you next time with a new topic